Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today I have my candle empties. It is story time. Before story time, let me remind you to please subscribe and like my videos if you're watching. I'm really, really loving it and appreciating it very, very much. And thank you for watching my channel. I have more candles that I finished than I thought I would. Usually these would be in my home fragrance empties, but my home fragrance empties is overflowing right now. So I'm gonna start having my Bath and Body Works hygiene empties, candle empties if there's a lot of them or if my bag's overflowing, and my home fragrance empties in three separate videos. So I have just been, I've, I've been killing it, getting through products, finishing things that were already opened. So I wanted to do this separately. And also I know that there are people out there that just go on YouTube to watch candle videos. So why not, right? This is, except for I think one candle, this is all Bath & Body Works. So I am gonna talk to you guys about ones I melted versus ones I burned. This is Pink Lavender Espresso. And this, I regret warming it on a warmer instead of burning it. Um, the notes are pink, a rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. I really like this. It is really nice. I had it on the warmer and it just filled my entire bedroom. Really, really great fragrance. The next one I'm definitely going to burn. Um, I would recommend this. This had like a, I would say it was like a seven or an eight out of 10. And it was on a warmer, take that into consideration because sometimes they do better on warmers than they do burning. But that's when I was still not sure about burning candles until I wasn't in a routine. Um, very nice candle. I would like to repurchase this one. I have it in single wicks, so I wanna use those before repurchasing more three wicks. Um, the next one, which is in not a Bath & Body Works candle, this is in the zone and this is a mainstays candle. This one, it smelled really awesome on cold. The notes are jasmine petals, warm musk, and vanilla. Wasn't a high thrower, maybe a medium at best. This one I burned almost all the way down. When I start seeing the, the wicks through the melted wax, that's when I know I'm getting close and sometimes I just stop them kind of early, but this isn't too bad. It was okay for a single wick, but it didn't have a very heavy throw what I was hoping for, judging by how heavy it was when I opened the candle itself. What I did notice is, see now it sticks, but this like goes round and round and round on it for some reason. I don't know if that's the original lid to it, but it's Walmart, so I should not set my expectations as high. Hold on. I've been trying to drink more water and hoping that'll help with my allergies and my dry throat, my dry nose and everything else. Next one I have is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. And I did get this in another three wick on Mercari because this was another one I, I regret putting on the warmer, but it, I mean, it still smells incredible, but it's done. It's, there's nothing left. When I have it on the warmer, it just kind of sits there. You don't get a lot of throw from it, but when it was full, when I was using it, this thing came out into the hallway from my bedroom. This was really, really nice for a single wick. So I would like another single wick or two of it but I'm probably gonna burn it this next time instead of putting it on the warmer, but it was really, really nice and I enjoyed it. Next one I finished is Sugared Snickerdoodle and part of the thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use some of my half up, used up candles, even if they're not from this season. Not all of them are going to make it into the cut, but I am using some of my half used ones. The notes for this are warm spices, creamy vanilla and sugared musk. I just love this one no matter what, you can tell that it didn't set too much, but there was enough to get into the wax where it discolored it. And that was, you know, a tad annoying, but really, really nice fragrance. This is almost all the way down to the tops of the tops of the metal for the wicks, but not quite. I really did enjoy this candle though. Um, ones that I know I melted in a warmer. We have sweet sweet red mango, and I realized how much I really don't like mango. I'd had some mango fragrances last year for Scentsy, didn't really care for them, weren't my thing, and definitely not after having the candle. This, I had chopped up a three-wick candle when I was still making wax melts out of them, and part of it I gave to my sisters, and then part of it I kept. 
I don't mind doing that. I do that sometimes if I have too much Scentsy or too much non-Scentsy wax or things like that. Or if I get a broken candle and I have to chop it up because there's glass in it, I will give them parts of it. Just not just to use it up, but because I know that my sisters enjoy the fragrance. The other one was a three wick that I had melted down into tarts. And this was Bath and Body Works, Market Peach, and Strawberry Pound Cake. Absolutely love this. I have another one. One more left in a three wick candle, which I'm going to burn at some point. And a Bath and Body Works Pink Lemonade. This is part of a three wick candle. This isn't a whole one. But I like the pink lemonade on a springy, nice, warm day. But I know I don't like... I don't like it very much in the body care. Um, you guys, when you guys see my empties for that, you'll understand. <laughs> um, next, we have a strawberry pound cake three wick candle. And this one made me sad. This one, it just turned into a murky mess towards the end of it. The first half of it was absolutely incredible. The second half of it was questionable. And it started, I could start smelling the soot in the candle. So that made me pretty sad because Strawberry Pound Cake is one of my favorite fragrances. I have repurchased more of the Strawberry Pound Cake Three Wicks because I will never stop doing that. Um, the notes are Fresh Picked Strawberries, a Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. Absolutely love this until it started getting weird and kind of just had to give up on it because all, all I was smelling was soot. The next one, and this was not on a warmer. This is one that I actually did in the living room and I'll put them in the living room when I know we're out and about where my husband's watching TV or I'm watching TV or my daughter is because there's someone in the room. Um, the notes are Juicy Market Plum, Tart Mixed Berries and Natural Vanilla Bean. I really like this and it was really, really strong. Filled the entire living room out towards the kitchen because it we have just an open space all the way from the kitchen all the way to the living room. We have like a little dining area in between. And it came down the hallway. It was really nice and I enjoyed it. Not my favorite scent because I'm not a huge scent of plum or blackberries or a huge fan. But it was really nice while I enjoyed it. I don't mind it once in a while. But it's not something I think I would burn incessantly because I would get sick of it pretty quickly. Next one, another one of my favorites, but also this one turned into a sooty mess like the last one. Um, as you can see, the wax got extremely discolored. For soot on the sides, it wasn't bad, but it's more like somehow soot is getting in the middle of it. And it's good, but it started to smell like just soot. And that annoyed me. So I didn't burn it all the way, way down. The notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. And I've said this in many videos, and I will repeat it again. I am a pumpkin whore. So I will use pumpkin spice right, like I will use it in the middle of July. I do not care. I do especially love this one because it makes me think of Cinnabon and of pumpkin. And I enjoy both of those things very much. So that is a definite repurchase for me. Next one is Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. This one, I was kind of disappointed because the throw wasn't very far it was maybe a medium, not close to high here in the office. And for a three wick candle, that's not that great. Uh, the notes are toasted marshmallow, crystallized amber and wild blackberries, velvety red wine. Hi. Hi. So most of what I got from this particular candle was the marshmallow fireside. There's quite a few times when I put this out that my husband's like, did you just put a candle out? Because we noticed, um, uh, burning smell more afterward than anything else and we would just we both kind of had to look around a couple times it was pleasant it was happy the soot it didn't get start smelling like soot it was still smelling like marshmallow fireside but I could have used a stronger candle so I'm hoping I do have another one of these I believe I'm hoping maybe it was just a dud and the next one gets better and then the last candle that I finished and this one I kind of you know I don't know if it was the season because it's turning into spring around here finally took long enough or if it was just my mood but this did not throw that far either this is brown sugar latte a lot of people really love this fragrance but I couldn't bring myself to love it it was okay um it's a possible repurchase in the next year when they bring out those candles again but if I see something I'd want to try more I might get that instead 
This is freshly roasted coffee, frost milk, and sugared praline. This is unusual for me, but it was more sugar than it was anything else. And the brown sugar especially. So, I mean, while it was nice, I didn't find it to be a favorite. I'm not saying it's a bad candle, but I just, it didn't, it didn't blow, you know, knock my socks off or anything like that. So I can't say that I was very excited about it. But that is it for all my candle empties for March or March. Oh my God, April. That is it for my candle empties for April. And coming up pretty soon, I am going to have my project use it up for my home fragrance. And that will include candles that I will want to burn or finish during the month of May. So I will talk to you later. Bye.